welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video so you guys were asking me about the ios 26.3 beta 1 although i plan to use 26.2 but since you guys were asking me so i updated my device to ios 26.3 developer beta 1 and i tested out it for 24 hours and here is my experience in this video i'm going to talk about the battery life I'm also going to talk about the Geekbase code. There are a few surprises. So let's catch up into this video and let's begin with the battery life. So I will get into the settings and I'm already into the battery section. So today I use around 92% of my device. And you know, I, I was always take a couple of days to get stable. But even very first day of 46.3 beta 1, I use 92% of my device. And I got 8 hours and 35 minutes screen on time, which is really good, being very honest with you. Now, during this time, I used different applications like TikTok, WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify. And I will say this is such a good screen on time. I really enjoy using my device throughout my day. I haven't felt that it is like battery life is draining or some, or maybe something like. Like battery life is quickly going down. I haven't faced anything like that. Everything was so smooth in terms of battery life. It feels such a solid update. Even though it is just a first beta. So that is all from the battery life. So battery life is a good. It's a big thumbs up. And now I want to talk about the performance. Now overall I haven't faced any sort of issue. Now while using the device I didn't face any sort of issue. On some point like two times my device lagged a bit throughout the day two times my device lagged a bit but other than that i haven't faced any sort of issue things are nice now if i share the geekbase score of this update by going over here to cpu benchmark cpu history and this is the score as you can see this is a single code score this is a multi code score now obviously this is lower than the 26.2 because 26.2 is a stable update and it is a first beta. But here are the surprises. When I did a GPU benchmark, I'm surprised to see I got highest ever GPU. Like I ran the test two times. I got 28336 GPU score, which is higher than the average one. And if you see it is like after so long time I got 28,000 figure. Last time I got that that was in 26.1 and so i got it after a very long time and it had the test again and this time i got even better 28451 which is higher than the average one obviously higher than the previous one and i'm highest ever 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 that i got on this update on this device um yeah it is amazing like i'm shocked to see that which means yeah this is such a good update definitely for the gaming purpose this is a really good update. I am surprised to see the score. And overall, I haven't faced much issues. Things are decent. Um, I still don't suggest you to install first the beta. But if you want to try out, you can do that. It's completely your choice. But overall, things are nice. Everything is working so good. And um, experience is quite decent. I'm also getting a lot of you know comments from your side regarding different sort of videos definitely i will try to come up with more videos and i am getting better which is a nice sign you know and yeah i will be like you now my focus is my focus will be on to bring more and more content for you guys well this is all from this video a short simple video i wanted to share so far you know i talk about the battery life and performance the things that are working nice everything is really good i hope to catch you guys in my next video until then take care peace out